yeah, my friend suggested I should put on paws or something just in case this monster that's wandering around, you know, <laughs> wanders. I don't think it's me. wandering around. I think it's in the box. The, you think the monster's in the box? No, I think what? he's just really aware of what's in the box, and he's like, oh, no. Oh, don't okay. Bang it. Maybe it's him making the noise. I understand. But hey, something could be in the box. Like a mermaid. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Hmm. Where is your gas located, friend? Ah. <laughs> um, no. He's been here. No. Do you have this model of truck? Not right motive? now, I don't. Have you in at any time? <laughs> owned this model of truck. <laughs> I still don't believe that's how it works. You can disbelieve all you want. I will. All right. Now make it go. Yeah, I don't own this model of truck. I'm not sure how it goes. <laughs> there oh, we go. crank. Oh, one of these things. It did explain the process to us. Yes, that's what true. The? Um, it's just that there. did the gerb. Yay, creepy graveyard. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? You're still trying to hatch yes, the fucking God. rocks. Of course we can take it home. There's a book called The Stones Are Hatching. That's creepy sounding. It's about, um, um, it's a Welsh character. Sweeney. Oh, Sweeney. Yeah. That's like, uh, the trickster kind of character, right? In Welsh folklore? Yeah. I forget exactly what the premise is, but there are actually, there's like, oh, an egg you have to get that has to hatch. A stone egg that does hatch. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Isn't there like a story like uh, if a toad sits on, no, that's a toad. But toad sits on a serpent's egg for like a hundred years or something. It turns into a cockatrice. I was thinking, sure, it's why not? A rock. <laughs> Who's gonna know? Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's kind of. Can you imagine having a window like this? Um. Lovely. Yeah. It's an interesting gravestone. Nope, can't open it. It's just there to be creepy. <laughs> Creepy as shit. Make you think, what if you guys lived here? What mm -hmm. if you lived here? Would you like it? Probably not. It would bother me much. It would bother me greatly. Here's the church. I don't think they care. Never leave my room anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You'd always have, like, the knowledge that you were at level with a bunch. What's going on? It was glowing, and I forgot that it just what? glowed because it was selected. Livestock and Bibles. The wires came up out of the ground whilst he lay on the grass asleep. Like serpents, they were. And they burrowed into his ears and became his listening. <laughs> became his listening. I appreciate the attempt to be poetic, but... Do you? I don't think you do. I'm trying. <laughs> You're trying to appreciate the attempts at poetry. Yes. Yeah, can we go nope? Oh, sorry. Sometimes it flashes by so quick I'm not noticing it. Because I'm looking Physics is all up elsewhere. on that. Read your fucking notes. Usually Kit is the one who's telling me to read my notes. Alright. We sat here, I remember. We sat in our black and we mourned, we prayed, and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then, how I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I'll carve a new God for us what? all. Refute his embrace. Dingo my baby. the God. <laughs> pig took my wife. He's calling <laughs> God a pig. Sometimes he, call, he has like capital H and sometimes not. So I guess yeah, right. consistency. Good proofreading would have saved this. Such ma no, it wouldn't have. Such <laughs> madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. <laughs> my throbbing destiny. <laughs> throbbing. You came from that way. Yes, you did. Did I? Oh, okay. Yes, I did. You're right. I don't know how you guys know this. I don't pay enough attention. I'm trying to, we'll but... Use our eyes. <laughs> okay, that's going upstairs, so I'll keep exploring the basement first. You and all your logic. That's okay. I blame my short attention span. Mm-hmm. Blame it all you wish. I will, because it is the cause of almost all my troubles. <laughs> cross. They knew better than to give people the option to carry under cross with them. 
twin candles, bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Boring. Hmm. There was a breath. I heard it. <laughs> we actually did not break that vase. I moved your chair, bro! Moved your chair! Come out and face me! No. <laughs> I remember you did that once in the original Amnesia, and then a monster appeared and killed you. <laughs> After much of my wild gesticulating and screaming, yes. It's like, alright, alright. Coming. Ooh. Curtains are always a good thing. Yeah. My church has curtains, why not? Why the fuck not? Gramophone? Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back offal at mankind. That's nice. God is nothing but a pig. I think I get it. I understand now. I wonder why they don't have full Bosch paintings and they just have, like, segments. The, four, the church could not afford the entire one. <laughs> they could not go full Bosch. <laughs> not many can. You never go full Bosch. <laughs> Alright. I'm just making sure nothing else is up here that I can look at before I continue on into the actual chapel. Okay. The actual somewhere else. <gasps> it's the Phantom! <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That'd be awesome. Or if it was Scooby Doo, it's Steve! It's Steve! <laughs> no church has music this awesome. I've been to every church, I can vouch. <laughs> This is why Catholics have it good. Like, check this out. Lutherans don't have this. Why do they waste their time? Why? They also don't have this anywhere, but... Pigs to the cross. Oh. Just Your hand some lights candles. <laughs> I'm a wizard, Harry. Can't light that one. That one must be a lever. Yes, let them out. <laughs> You're turning skeezics on. Oh. <laughs> she has very peculiar fetishes, but once you find them. Oh, the candles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of mechanism. A secret and infernal one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer, but why? This I cannot fathom. Thanks, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? And where where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks in the, about the altars if someone was pulled away? Probably because someone was pulled away. Why is there this note saying, gone to Florida? <laughs> There's just so many things that don't add up. Where is the organ that's playing all that amazing music? Probably there somewhere. In the sewers. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> what? Stuck. It is not ready. Infernal machines, infernal machines. That looks like a quite a deep drop. Church be cray. Church be cray. Why cray? Why the thing? We're not threatening. <laughs> Say that when the monster comes out. <laughs> I'm not threatening. <laughs> like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I was really nervous about this one. Hey, girl. <laughs> I think that was the organ up there. Okay. So cray, cray. Oh, up there. Yes, now you're we're right. just borrowing around. <laughs> I was trying to see where the organ was coming from. Yep. 
speaker system. Hmm. Bottles. Plants. Aha! Aha! Missing candles. Oh. Ooh. Nope. Put this down. we will be gone when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back. <laughs> when we put down the paper, that's literally just in front of us. They flocked to us now where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. Now, drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that Mandis distributes, my church is full and my chargers are saved. He walks amongst them, and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy, and the confines of his sickbed as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Okay, so now we know. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares, to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom and gratitude. He is our Jesus. The pork isn't pork. <laughs> the pork is people. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like something feasible to reality. It's it's walk through this door. Place. Bang. Drop. Oh. Okay, that, I don't even know what you were doing. <laughs> Sometimes my finger just, like, twitches and that's all it takes. <laughs> That'd be a sight to seeing a grown ass man jumping down the nave with a <laughs> candlestick. <laughs> Don't be nimble. Jack jumped over the candlestick, not with it. Oh, he's just changing up the old. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room for your creativity. Hey. That's a really weird stained glass. Is that another dead pig? Mm -hmm. I'm yes. sensing a theme. And machinery, mm -hmm. and machinery. That's really weird. I like this church, but that's weird. I guess this probably isn't Catholic when I, I think, think about it. Now. Yeah, I think you're right. Nope. Nope. Uh, the engine fires, the flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters to the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of the dark contraption, but my children beckon me on, and I cannot fail them. I'm quite excited to turn the... The, the lever. Pull the lever. And then there was fire. Reach out. <laughs> Reach out and touch, touch flame. No, no. It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend, and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam, and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will- that's- couple of references that I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Thank you for hinting that it's back towards the altar because I probably wouldn't have guessed that. Um, Eventually I would have. <laughs> so, I you could have figured it out. <laughs> more obvious than I had anticipated. I imagine you wandering around. I still haven't figured it out. I think it was a little obvious before you even went in there. There was this big circle surrounding the altar on the ground. I thought it was part of the stained glass. Uh oh. Alright, well we'll find out what that hideous noise is in the next video.